Hi everyone. Get ready to improve your English as we delve into engaging dialogues between two speakers today. Make sure to subscribe and hit the like button for more educational videos. Enjoy. A tranquil conversation beside the waterfall, enlightenment with Thomas and Susan. Good afternoon, Susan. What a pleasant day to meet beside this captivating waterfall, don't you agree? Indeed, Thomas. The soothing sound of the water falling and the freshness in the air provide the perfect ambience for a conversation. Well said. Would you care for a cup of tea or coffee? A cup of tea would be delightful, thank you. So, Susan, what's been on your mind lately? Any interesting projects or aspirations? I've been engrossed in learning about environmental sustainability. How about you, Thomas? What has been capturing your intellectual curiosity? Ah, sustainability. A crucial subject. I have been exploring mindfulness and its positive effects on mental well-being. That's fascinating, Thomas. How do you practice mindfulness? Primarily through meditation and being present in the moment. I find it especially easy to practice mindfulness here, beside nature's marvels like this waterfall. Ah, yes. Being present is so crucial, yet so difficult in today's fast-paced world. How do you think we could cultivate it more effectively? A good starting point might be disengaging from our digital devices occasionally and truly soaking in our surroundings much like we are doing now. Very true. It seems that in today's world, making time for such mindful interactions is a form of resistance against the constant onslaught of distractions. Well articulated, Susan. Sometimes, rebellion lies in reclaiming our time and attention. Agreed. Let us then continue to relish this time we've carved out for intellectual stimulation and mindful interaction. A toast to that, Susan. To mindfulness and meaningful conversations. Cascading conversations, can a waterfall trip change Thomas and Susan's lives forever? Hello Susan, how's your day going? Hi Thomas, it's been pretty good. Thank you for asking. How about you? I'm doing well, thanks. I was thinking of doing something special this weekend. How would you feel about a day trip to see the local waterfall? That sounds absolutely lovely, Thomas. I've heard that the waterfall is beautiful but I've never had the chance to visit. That's why I thought it would be a great idea. The natural scenery can be quite refreshing. It's a wonderful chance to unplug from our daily routines. You're absolutely right. What time were you thinking of leaving? How does Saturday morning around 9 a.m. sound to you? It's about an hour's drive from here, so we'd have plenty of time to enjoy the area. That timing works perfectly for me. What should we bring along for the trip? I'd say we should pack some lunch, maybe sandwiches and some fruit. Also, don't forget to bring a water bottle. It's crucial to stay hydrated. Excellent. I can take care of the food if you'd like. That would be wonderful, thank you, Susan. I'll bring a camera along so we can capture some of the scenic beauty. What a great idea, Thomas. I'm really looking forward to this trip. Me too, Susan. I think it will be a fantastic way to spend our weekend. There's something incredibly peaceful about the sound of rushing water, don't you agree? I couldn't agree more. It's a natural wonder that always leaves me spellbound. It has the same effect on me. The sheer power of water cascading down is something I find fascinating. It reminds me of the unstoppable force of nature. Such eloquent thoughts, Thomas. Nature does have a way of putting things into perspective for us. Absolutely, Susan. It's a humbling experience that I'm sure we'll both appreciate. 
I have no doubt that we will. See you on Saturday at 9 a.m. then? Yes, let's meet at my place, and we can drive from there. Sounds like a plan, Thomas. I'm excited for our waterfall adventure. As am I, Susan. See you on Saturday. From the mouths of babes, when Thomas and Susan discuss parenting and kids' surprising wisdom. Hey Susan, you won't believe what happened yesterday. I was trying to explain to my six-year-old, Emily, why she can't have ice cream every day. She looked at me and said, but daddy, life is short, eat dessert first. Oh my. That's hilarious and so insightful. You know, they say kids often have wisdom beyond their years. Absolutely. I was stumped for a moment. It made me think, maybe we can learn a lot from our kids, you know. I couldn't agree more. Last week, I was telling my son, Tim, how I felt stuck in my job. You know what he told me? What did he say? He said, Mom, if you don't like where you are, move. You're not a tree. I was amazed at how simple yet profound that statement was. Wow, that's really thought-provoking. You know, this makes me think of how complicated we adults make things sometimes. True. Just last month, I was feeling overwhelmed and my daughter sensed it. She told me, Mom, if you're feeling buried, maybe you're a seed about to grow. It was such a simple metaphor, but it shifted my perspective. That's genuinely deep. I think we underestimate the potential of children to offer life advice. Maybe it's their innocence or the fresh way they see the world. Definitely. I think children have an uncanny ability to simplify complex issues. They don't overthink things like we do. Yeah. Have you noticed how kids can easily make friends? I've seen Emily go up to a stranger kid in the park and five minutes later, they're best friends. We adults could learn a lot from that. That's so true. As we grow up, we erect walls and develop prejudices. Kids are so open and pure. Their social skills are untainted by adult cynicism. Indeed. You know, this conversation reminds me of how important it is to listen to our kids. Not just hear them, but genuinely listen to what they have to say. Absolutely, Thomas. They have their own perspectives and unique ways of seeing the world. We should respect that, and who knows, we might just learn something valuable. Exactly, Susan. After all, as the saying goes, from the mouths of babes comes wisdom. Couldn't have said it better myself. Let's promise to not just teach our kids but also learn from them. Agreed. I'm going to start tonight by asking Emily what the best part of her day was and really listening to what she has to say. That sounds like a wonderful idea. I'll do the same with Tim and Lucy.